All right, hey guys, I'm back today for another video. Um, this one's gonna go up late. I already made a video on my PC, but I'm having a lot of issues with OBS and I don't, I'm trying to learn how to use a PC to do the video stuff. So and if anyone has any comments on how to use Adobe Premiere and if I recorded incorrectly from OBS, that'd be awesome because everything went out of sync. Um, so t I'm gonna go over some of the presets I made for this week. I got really into using reactor blocks again, but I'm doing a lot more sequence stuff and I was gonna go and make a sequence today with you guys, like like something with like one of these presets, which I'm gonna show you, and we'll kind of just go at it and see what happens. That's what I did in the last video, and the sound turned out really cool. It's just a bummer I couldn't use that one. Um, but here, these are some of the presets that will come out with my Patreon subscribers. So this is the first one, which is pretty cool. Whoop, we wanna just solo this. I really like that sound. It's pretty cool. Um, I have another one. I made I made three basically kind of sequence ones. This one's kind of more of a bass, but oh man, do I turn this off? There we go. So that one's really cool too. Um, and this is like modular synthesis if you're unfamiliar and watching this. Kind of like the, if you see Dead Mouse do stuff with all that gear outside of his computer. It's, this is basically an inside version, like in the box, and it's pretty cool. And like modular synthesis is really expensive, so this is like kind of my way of getting into it, which is kind of exciting, and it's pretty addictive. Um, anyways, this is the last sound, and then we'll start going into making a, a sequencer. That one's pretty 80s, but like with a kick, it has like a nice groove. This kick isn't the best one, but. So that was pretty cool. Um, let's go in and we're gonna turn these off, or we could actually just use one of these and we will just go and create a new block set. So I got to go to edit first off. Uh, we're gonna go then we'll make this bigger so we can see everything we're doing here We're gonna go to what am I doing? We need to go here. We're gonna edit We're gonna go we're gonna close the core go to reactor blocks And when you click on reactor blocks here that opens all the blocks But then we're gonna go to blocks new and then we're not gonna save anything that we did right now and it's going to open up with this. This is the default. You're going to go back and hit edit again, which is going to allow you to actually click on these and change them. I'm going to get rid of the scope. I'm going to get rid of the macro switches. I'm going to keep my macro knobs because I've been using them. We're going to use sequencers for these, so we need the clock, but we're not going to use a note in this time. Um, we're going to go back in here. Oh, there we need to go to library. And then we're going to get go into our reactor blocks. So what I'm, I'm going to kind of just do somewhat of a simple one. I'm just going to do two different oscillators and two different sequencers with this. So we're gonna need, uh, which oscillators did I use? Let's use, let's just use these ones, the regular ones, like the bento box ones. So we're gonna use this one, and we're gonna use this one. So we're gonna put, I'm gonna need three here, cause I'm gonna use one for FM synthesis too. So I'm gonna set up this oscillator. I'm gonna label it one. I usually label things in here. I don't know if you can label it on the other side. I think I've tried and I, there's probably a way, but it's just easier in here. Two and FM mod, because I'm basically gonna run the output of this into the FM on both of these and just use this as an, a frequency modulator. So basically the oscillator is gonna send out signal into the FM section on these. And then as you turn this up, it's gonna start modulating the signal that's coming out of here you'll hear when we get when we start doing it uh, kind of the effect it has 
um, put our macro here. I'm going to move these over. And as I build it to, like when I get closer to the end, I'll kind of sh tell you how everything's hooked up and what's kind of going on. Um, I think I'm going to do quite a few videos in this, and I'll probably get more detailed as I go with these, and I can really kind of, this is more of just like a kind of a creative video and might kind of be inspiring, and but I'll explain the best I can. But for the other videos, if I start doing, I think I'm going to go a lot maybe deeper in the technical stuff, which will be obviously good. We can start maybe by building simpler since and then things like that but anyways okay so uh, the gate which is the clock is going to send out signal on when to hit the note so I'm going to plug that into this sequencer I'm going to plug that into this sequencer as well oh wait no that's right I'm going to divide the I need a clock divider sorry uh, which is here so basically what this is going to do is it's going to be able to allow me to divide this MIDI clock into six different outputs and I can change the actual rhythm or uh, what's the correct term like the, the sequence rate basically um, with this which is really cool so I'm gonna take the gate off here I put that on pitch anyways uh, so I'm gonna put this one as gate one I'm gonna put this one as gate two because we're only gonna use two so basically let me start organizing this too because this looks like a mess uh, it's kinda gets confusing if you don't stay organized at least I find it to be one two so I'm gonna go ahead and I have my FN mod I'm gonna put here for now I'm gonna put the one up here I'm gonna put the two right here the one goes up here the two is gonna go down here I'm gonna put the clock divider up here right next to the to the uh, clock, the MIDI clock I'm gonna put my mod uh, synth there oscillator um, that's all we have for right now okay now next, you can use like voltage controlled amplifiers, um, but today they're, I'm just gonna use these because I, I kind of find that these work better and they're really quick. They're basically just gates um, and they have like algorithms that kind of just make them pluck, which is really nice. So I'm gonna take the gate one and put it into the pluck of this one because that is gonna basically be the voltage controlled amplifier and I said when I do another video I think when I go deeper into what all these kind of do because um, this is basically a modular synth is just taking if you have if you know how to do synthesis then this will kind of make sense because this is like the amp like when the voltages come in it usually would just open up the amp to the way you have it set and you would you can modulate the amplifier with an envelope which is what you know when you have the ADSR on your synthesizer but with these are just kind of like quick gates that already kind of have their own little uh, envelopes built in so it makes it easier so basically I'm gonna do this low pass gate here I'm gonna put it as one so I know it's because it's gonna plug into this one so I'm just gonna put the output of this into this as well uh, Low pass gate. This will be two. Shit. There we go. Two. Not t not T O. Whatever that. Two. There we go. Um. I'll put it into this. I'm gonna take the gate two out of this and put it into the pluck here. And let's see. So now, basically, rather than when you hit a keyboard, you're going to get notes that are going to go into this oscillator. Today, we're going to use a step sequencer. So I'm going to take the pitch of the first step sequencer and put it into the pitch of the first oscillator. And then I'm going to do the same thing for the second. And then they will be independently controlled by these step sequencers. Um, for now, I'm just going to plug these into our output. Uh, yeah. No, I need to mix them. Sorry. I need my mixer so we're gonna do this because I need the signals obviously to come together here so I'm gonna put them into this mixer which will have them come out as a stereo output so I'm gonna do out to the left and to the right on this side and I'm gonna do the left for the output two and the right on this one so now this one's going into our mixer will put up here so this first one's gonna come out of this our second one's gonna come out of this area so let's see is everything hooked up correctly right now we should be good to go at least to play let me turn on the volume make sure nothing else is gonna turn on and be loud I'm 
going to put it on external as well for the MIDI clock, which means if you do internal, you just click play. If you do external, it's going to basically sync to your DAW in uh, what the BPM is. So that'll kind of gray out where now here you can choose the BPM. Now, as far as these go, let's, I don't know how do I turn these. So you can go up to here and basically when you look at this one, it's basically it, it's doing like 16 bars. That's 16 bars. Like if it's doing one, it's like 16th notes. And say I put it up to four, it'd be like four sixteenths, which would basically come out to be quarter notes. So kind of you have to think about it in reverse. Like you, this is not the one is not like a whole note. Basically, it's 16th notes. So it, it's kind of I don't know if it, so that hopefully that makes sense. Um, again, like I'm kind of doing this more creatively today and. On another video I think I'll really break it down and I'll have like hopefully my new video set up with I, I have like cameras on me and that might help a bit too I can maybe do some graphs um, like I said I tried that with the other video and it just didn't work out it semi worked um, so anyways let's go further into this right now so we're gonna just hear one of them right now we'll just do the top so I'm gonna mute the second one turn it down a bit now I'm going to start doing modulating the frequency, which is going to, I'm going to turn this one up to 36. So it's going to go up 36 semitones or uh, three octaves. And then I'm going to start having this signal that it's sending out come in and basically start modulating this signal. So if you listen to this, but I'm going to use a different algorithm. I don't know all the differences between these algorithms if you're nerdy you can go learn about it and what exactly it does I just know that I tend to find better results with this one than the other ones the other ones can be a bit extreme um, so that's something you can click on to try to get different results I guess what you have exponential which is going to kind of curve it up I, okay we'll go a little bit into it and then linear is going to be a straight line I don't know what linear TZ means exactly it must be a different type of straight line I, I'm not sure um, so I guess I kind of did have a general idea of what's going on there now that I actually read it. Um, so let's go in and we'll start adding this on. Also, a side note with these low pass gates, it's kind of nice. They have different settings. They have vanilla, they have snappy, and they have smooth. So if you hear the difference, that we listened to vanilla already. You um, have snappy. Let's do snappy on that one. It's kind of cool. shuffle on here I like putting shuffle on especially later when we add delays on okay that's interesting let's try to work on the second one now and see if we can get something interesting with it
little too in the same frequency spectrum. I'm going to try to get these in different areas. Okay, um, it's okay, but I'm going to see if I can get something interesting out of it with effects. Um, you know, with a lot of this, especially with modular synthesis, is just playing around in trial and error until you get something really cool. For the sake of time on this video, I'm not going to spend two hours, you know, sitting around. But it it's pretty addictive, and you can easily do it. It gets You get pretty sucked in. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go through and... You know what I can do? Let's actually bring in um, a filter first. I love the Monarch filter. It's got a lot of settings on there that can really bring out some grit into things. So what I'm going to do here is got to get a little process going on because this is coming out in stereo. So I'm basically just going to use this bento box mixer which basically sums everything down to one channel again so i'm going to put the left into one the right into two and i'm going to go where are you at this is where like i think like i said next time i should probably go do a video because i think i'm going to get pretty into this i want to start building like a sound library with just using reactor blocks so i can get more details on all the items and kind of what they do and help build there's bento box help help learn how to build like some more simple synths and then kind of grow from there um, so I'll put that out I need to go and turn on two all the way so now basically I took the stereo signal comes out in a mono we're gonna go back into this filter and then I'm gonna take this filter and I'm gonna output it into this delay and then I'm gonna output the delay into our main output here I'm going to turn down the delay to zero so we can just work with the filter first. And this is what is like okay, what I love about this filter is you can get a lot of grit and you'll kind of see here. I've been exploring using the FM and the feedback and the load points on this. And it can really transform a sound. Let's first take the FM mod and we're going to send the FM mod into the FM on this. And then I'll start having a light so you know you can actually use that. So as far as we're going to start with feedback though, the feedback, the A has really can be really extreme. You have to be careful with it. The B kind of has a little more leeway. You'll kind of hear. I'll turn this down just to get more con more of a concept of it. It can get pretty crazy fast, but so I'm going to actually switch to B here. Next, I'm going to kind of add some frequency modulation, so it's going to probably move this filter, basically is what it's going to start doing, by now the more I add that. Go ahead and start adding some delay in this and see what happens here. So 
so that's really cool. Um, we can go a lot deeper into this and stuff too um, in other videos, but you can kind of see when you start adding delays and stuff on. And this, this you know, it gets kind of, uh, I guess, techno-ish, or I guess anything that's kind of acidy, um, for that matter. Like, it kind of has an acid sound to it. So let me just play it with a kick and see how it sounds. We'll go ahead and put a compressor on it too, just that'll help. I wish I could just use. Oh, I'm putting. Yeah, there we go. Keep drum rack. Not reverb drum rack. I almost think it sounds even better filtered down mainly and you just kind of have this nice underlay and you can start building pads over it. Let's hear that one more time. So cool. Uh, I guess that's it for this video today. It was more, I guess, kind of experimenting and kind of watching and hopefully you picked up some stuff. Um, I can start for other videos go into some more like simple stuff and kind of really break down like what the components are which can help and then maybe we can build a simple synth next time so i hope this video helped i hope you like the patreon sounds if you did uh sign up that'd be really cool i appreciate it uh like i said i'm working on making these videos more interesting I, I did spend a lot of time on the first video like a lot of time and everything just kind of fell apart and it's i'm supposed to have this video up like earlier this morning and it's almost the end of the day so um I just kind of had to do this really quick and redo the video. So I'll, I'll kind of keep working at it and get the camera set up and stuff and we'll kind of see where it goes. So anyways, thanks again for watching. Hopefully this was fun and it kind of inspired you. If you don't have Reactor 6, the blocks are pretty sweet. I, I, I like them a lot. So I, I definitely think it'd be fun to look into it if you haven't. Um, if you have complete bundle, it's only $100 to upgrade. Uh, if you don't have it, it's Reactor 6 on its own is 200 You're kind of better off waiting for the or getting a complete bundle for 500 but anyways um, enough salesmanship for native instruments you guys have a good day and I hope you enjoyed